and um, of course, fate. The movie is what about fate. What roles were you turned down for a million dollars? Um. For the, um, I, I need you to take time and, and, and think about the million dollars. That's huge money. Yes, like... And what? I do need it. But, um, for the fact that um, I'm a responsible your, woman. Okay. And I love and respect my country. And, of course, my family. I would not take any role that has to do with um, burying it all in a nudity. No. How about halfway? Halfway, okay, if it's tastefully done, <laughs> maybe wearing... I mean, you're just acting, you are deep no, no, in something. Bikini. You're, that's not who you are, you know, so... I know, but... Um, did you say bikini? He said bikini. <laughs> yeah, that, that, if, uh, if you're talking of halfway, would you go um, that far? Bikini, one million dollars. I'm not going to lie to you. I am going to dollars. think about it and I will let you know another time. <laughs> okay. Now, right. when, when you look at the Nollywood industry today, it's been said to be a money spinner for Nigeria and it's helped with the image of the country in terms of the talents yes. that we've put out there to the rest of Africa and the rest of the world. What's your thought of Nollywood as it is today? Hmm. So far, without um, any encouragement and uh, support, I am going to give it to the practitioners who started it all. I feel, you know, they did everything. So um, we have to give them their dues. They've actually done well. We are... Um, I heard we are third, but I think commercially I'm going to say we are second in, in the world, and that is not an easy feat. We did, we did, um, because a lot of people you know, just you know, keep saying negative stuff about the kind of movies and the qualities we bring out. But I still tell them that this is the same thing that is you know, pushing us forward, that is taking us places, you know, honoring you know, other countries. And I'm proud of what I do, regardless of you know what people assume because at the end of the day I feel you need to put all your energy into what you love when people say that there's so much glitz and glamour and some people lose and forget about the hard work that goes into it and then they look at the other side of the coin which is the fact that people question some of the storylines because they seem to focus on uh, negative things like fetish stuff and so on. What, how do you see some of those things? For the movies, I think there is a market for it. There is demand for it. If you shoot a movie... Do we create market for everything? That we they, don't uh, need to. Do we create to. movies because there's a market for everything? You know, we have so many that are dwelling on different um, issues. It could be the monetary aspect of it, or, you know, it could be the creative aspect of it. People have a reason why they are doing something. And I want to believe if there is no market for that, they would not keep shooting. So well, in if you, much, can you change the markets? Because sometimes yes, what media, and you are also one part of media, what we do is we set the tone for a long time. You've been doing what the market wants, which seems to be, you know, spell and, you know, witches and wizard. Can you, are you capable of setting the tone? Well, I'm now an executive producer. I have my own movie. Oh, I and um, I want to be dwelling, you know, into subjects that I think is important. I'm not going to go towards a traditional belief. I want to um, share my knowledge. Uh, I'm an ambassador. I need to set an example to those people who are looking up to me. So I would not want to do the kind of jobs that, you know, will portray, you know, my person and my country or my beliefs, you know, in another direction that I don't want. So, yes, the kind of movies that I would do would definitely contribute in changing. I cannot change the face of the industry, but we can all come together and get beautiful roles, beautiful characters, beautiful script writers, screenplays, and all that. And then, yeah, we'll stop the tradition uh, and actually, because we've not started shooting if it's for so shooting. So what kind of films would you like to shoot? What uh, kind of stories? Like um, stories about bullying in school, mm. abuse. I'm not going to go towards cancer and all that and all that. More about diabetes. Um, 
a lot of people still don't know what is polio. So we need to really delve into serious issue. We need to shoot movies about love. We so many people don't have that in their hearts. What part of love though? Because I tell love. you <laughs> love you need to be happy love seriously. Please what and part that happiness come from you? somewhere. <laughs> okay. You understand some special place. So we need to do movies that would bring out that happiness in each okay, and every one of us. Talking about love, where, where is love in your own life? Ah, love is um, somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> waiting in the waiting room or somewhere. Well, love is somewhere. <laughs> Out mm. there, we we'll meet uh, love or. Um, love is somewhere. <laughs> okay, let me quickly ask though, because I know a lot of people also wonder and ask questions about uh, work ethics in your industry. Some people do not think it's. Uh, I mean, if it's an industry, then there should be a standard of work ethics. Could you, could you just quickly? Um, well, sometimes uh, we leave um, the hotel at 8 a.m., 8, and then we close at 9 p.m. But if you're not shooting in between uh, that period of time, you can go back to the hotel. You cannot sit, you know, until you're called. But if you're working, that means you're working throughout the day. And if you have the strength, you can work 24 hours and finish in maybe two weeks. If your uh, timing is a month, you can shoot for two weeks. Means you have just probably two or three days of sleep in between that, fourteen days. So the work, it's 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 not an easy. So you job. think there should be a regulation? I so. think so. I wanted us to probably work um, normal hours like the regular folks. Maybe you not. Know? But you think? But, but oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, another time you're sleeping for three straight, you are not working. So you have three days in between shooting while still at the location free. So, you know, sometimes you just have it good, you have it by it's not. Okay, as we, wound up, as we wind up now, some people said that's recipe for inability to have relationships. Is that true? Well, I'm going to tell you it takes um, a great man. Uh, or great woman to understand the kind of you know time you put into your work but I believe if if, if a relationship means so much you should be able to guide it and make out time for your family you cannot be shooting every day you know you you have to create two weeks at least in each month or a week for your family I you're think. doing that I've been um, doing that for long. Yeah. My parents are used to it now. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you it's so great much. to have you here. We've uh, not been able to exhaust all of the things I we know. wanted to discuss with you. I think we have to bring you back. No problem. Yeah. I'm here. Good. Thank that's you a so promise. much. We'll have you back soon. Oh, yes. All right. That's good. We've been speaking with uh, Halima Abubakar, who is a Nigerian, very, very talented actress and uh, multi award winning actress for that matter. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much. Well, on that note, we will have to wrap it up and say it's a wrap again. Wrap like a sausage roll or something. <laughs> it's a wrap again uh, yes, on the show. I had a great time on the show. Yes. Through the nooks and crannies of everything. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. My name is Kadi Akintemi. Here's wishing you a wonderful weekend and I look forward to seeing you next week.